ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد Brothers and sisters many of us have been watching the news in the past week observing what is happening in Al Masjid Al Aqsa the sacred sanctuary of the believers of the Muslims and brothers and sisters allow me to take a moment to reflect upon what is happening there Please, don't come to me after the khutbah and say, what about my country? I know. Wallahi, I know. And I know the pains that so many people across the world are facing. And I try in all of my khutbah to remember as many of the countries as I can. Because I know the hardships are far and wide. Allow me to indulge for a moment the cause of Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa and the plight of the Palestinian people. Allow me to reflect on that for a moment, not because of political desires, not because of nationalistic pursuits, but because of our love for Allah Jalla wa Ala and because of our reverence of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because for too long, the topic of Palestine, the topic of Palestine and the topic of Masjid Al-Aqsa has been mired in a toxic and ugly political discourse. The issue of Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa is a matter of our theology. The Masjid Al-Aqsa, brothers and sisters, is Ula Al-Qiblataini wa Thani al haramain It is the first Qibla of the Muslims. The Muslims, when they stand up to pray, when the prayer was first obligated, the direction that we faced was Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa in Palestine. The second of the sacred sanctuaries that were built on this earth where Allah Jalla wa Ala was to be worshipped and praised is Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa and the lands of Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa are the place of Al-Mahshar, the place of gathering and the place of resurrection. Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa is the space and the place where the, the magnificent and miraculous elevation of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Mi'raj of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam happened. Subhanallah the Asra بِعَبْدِهِ لَيْلًا مِنَ الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَامِ إِلَى الْمَسْجِدِ الْأَقْصَى الَّذِي بَارَقْنَا حَوْلَهُ Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa is the sacred and blessed land where the Prophet ﷺ led 124,000 prophets and messengers in congregational prayer where he was then elevated to be beyond a Sidratul Muntaha to be in the company of Allah Jalla wa Ala Brothers and sisters Masjid Al-Aqsa is not a nationalistic or political pawn to be put in the hands of political players, Muslim or non-Muslims. This is a matter of our deen for us. We love Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. We love Al-Ka'ba Al-Musharrafa. We love Al-Madina Al-Munawwara. And we love Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. It is sacred to us. It means everything to us. And we must not be quieted by the fears of why you're talking about Palestine. Because so many of us have been rendered mute out of fears that if you talk about Palestine, it's AKA for something else. That it's synonymous with something else. No. For us, we love Al Masjid Al Aqsa. It is a blessed land. And what's happening, that for the first time in so many years, for Salatul Jumu'ah, for the Friday prayer that we're praying right now, to, to not happen. For the Masjid Al-Aqsa to be closed down, where no Salatul Jumu'ah happened, is abomination to Islam and Muslimi. This tears our hearts apart. It breaks the heart of the believer to see Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa mired in this circumstance. It tears the soul apart. Put aside all of the political circumstances. Put aside all of the nationalistic tendencies. Put aside all of that toxic rhetoric. Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa is about Allah and His Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So when the believer sees what is happening to those sacred spaces, that the boots of soldiers are crawling or walking on those spaces, it breaks the soul of the believer. And this is something we have to say confidently. And let me name it so no one thinks anything weird. 
We are not calling for terrorism. We're not calling for bloodshed. We're not calling for the eradication of a people. We're calling for justice. We're calling for dignity. Because when the land, when the sacred spaces of Muslims are desecrated in that way, it pains us and it hurts us. This is a conversation we need to have with our politicians. This is a conversation we need to have with our co-workers. This is a conversation we need to have with our Jewish interfaith and our Christian interfaith. And tell them how pained we are by this. And that Muslims will not stay quiet on the plight of the Palestinians. That this is a matter that concerns us deeply and spiritually. So brothers and sisters, the most essential thing, the most essential lesson for all of us is do not forget. Do not be mindless of al-Masjid al-Aqsa. Do not be heedless to the plight of our brothers and sisters in that area. Beyond the political discourse, and I know there is so much to be said politically about what is happening there. And I'm, I'm talking beyond that point. I'm talking from a spiritual point. Because if spiritually I am forgetful of the sacred house of Allah Jalla wa Ala, where the prayer in Masjid al-Aqsa is equal to 500 prayers, if I'm neglectful of that, then what does my relationship with Allah really look like? ذَلِكَ وَمَنْ يُعَظِّمْ شَعَائِرَ Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about those who make grandiose and who honor the rites and the rituals of Allah Jalla wa Ala and that which Allah has deemed sacred. And no matter who the regime is, Muslim or non-Muslim, Allah Jalla wa Ala says, وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ مَنَعَ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ أَنْ يُذْكَرَ فِي هَسْمُ and the wrong and the, 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 the greatest of oppressors and wrongdoers are who prevent the house of Allah Jalla wa Ala to have Allah's name remembered there. And so for the believers in those lands to be prevented to pray in their sacred spaces because of toxic politics, because of provocative measures, that is something the Muslims must find a problem with. And so my advice to myself and all of my brothers and sisters care about Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. Make dua for Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa and the lands of Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. Talk to your friends, talk to your co-workers, talk to your interfaith alliances and organizations, talk to your representatives and say what is happening pains me as an American Muslim. It deeply harms me to see what is happening. And I cannot be quiet on this issue. And I will not be silenced by intimidation or fear tactics to, to make the Muslim community forget about Palestine or to forget about Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. We will not forget. Because it is too precious to Allah and His Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for us to forget or neglect it. May Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala bless and protect our brothers and sisters in Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. May Allah protect our sacred sanctuaries. May Allah protect the honor of Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa and the honor of Al-Masjid Al-Haram in Al the Kaaba Al-Musharrafa and Medina Al-Munawwara. May Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala make us a people who love this deen. May Allah make us a people who are true agents of mercy and compassion in society. May Allah make us a people who pursue justice in all of its corners, whether for, more, for Muslims or for non-Muslims. May Allah make us a people of righteousness and goodness. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve this Islam in our hearts because we know the goodness Islam has in store for this world. May Allah make us people who follow truly in the footsteps of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us on this day of Jumu'ah. May he have mercy on all of the lands of this world where innocence is being provoked and innocence is being harmed where there is oppression may Allah remove the oppression from upon them in Allah ya'muru bil adli wal ihsani wa ita'i dhil qurba wa yanha 'anil fahsha'i wal munkari wal baghi ya'idhukum la'allakum tadhakkarun wa la dhikrullahi akbar wallahu ya'lamu ma tasna'un aqimus salah